Hey guys. So I'm back at Jollibee. Got my little feast. I got the burger. I was craving the burger. I was really craving the burger because I got the burger steak too with some mashed potatoes and gravy. And I really wanted the spaghetti again, but I was like, I can't just keep eating the spaghetti. So I got the other one. I forgot, Palabuk is the name of this. The seafood pasta is really good. I got my favorite pie and some french fries. Oh, where's my gravy? Oh, there's my gravy. Can't eat the french fries without the gravy. Mm, mm, mm. Having a great day. Today is a great day. I have a, I'm feeling some kind of way today. Like got a heavy heart. But besides that, I feel great. I feel like, oh, first off, they had to put something in this food because it's super addicting. I mean, mm, that gravy. Mm, what the heck? French fries and gravy just would have never ate this any other time in my life, but mmm. Mmm. Anyways, so you guys, today I feel good, like soul and spirit feels good, but my heart is feeling heavy. So my heart feels heavy because I hate how we live in this world where people just, they do crazy things when they think people aren't looking. But what's done in the dark is always gonna come to the light, like always. And I just don't like being that person that has to put, bring stuff to light. Like we live in a world with the bystander effect. Everybody's watching what's happening. Nobody's gonna do anything. And I don't like that I'm the only one that's gonna do something about it, but it's okay. It's okay. Uh, some of us are built different. So anyways, I know y'all know the drama of my last relationship, but my heart feels heavy today because the best friend of my ex, say, he's on the same terrible stuff that my ex was on, because you know birds of a feather flock together, but watching the friend's life play out and seeing how what could have been of my life it's just such a crazy surreal feeling because i think that people definitely try to go after the right victim if that's what we want to say so back to the bystander effect i know a guy i've witnessed it seen him in action with my eyes watched how he acts in public watch how he acts when he's at parties I've seen how he acts in the clubs because a lot of guys think if I act crazy in the club, you know, it'll never get out. This is just going to be my secret. And some guys will even go to every single club in South Florida from like going from West Palm Beach all the way down south to Hialeah. They will go to every single club, assuming doing their plays, like trying to get over on women, whatever they're doing, they assume that it will never get connected because they're going to different locations, but the world is very small. And the thing is, as somebody who was a former stripper and worked at every location from West Palm Beach to Hialeah, it's the same girls. And anybody who's worked in Miami, I've seen these girls all over the world. I've seen girls in Vegas that I met in Miami. I've seen girls in South Carolina. I've seen girls in Virginia. The world is small. And a lot of people, for some reason, think, oh, it's not small. I'm going to get away with this. You're not going to get away with it. My very last day in the strip club, there was a guy who tried to set me up. He literally tried to set me up. Was I, like, oh, I'm going to book you for this event. You know, because I'm a stripper, so you think we're doing an event. And when I get there, he's like, oh, let me put this drug in you. Let me give you this. He's trying to give me all this stuff because he was trying to get me intoxicated so that he could take advantage of me and run a train on me. And I was like, I'm not the one. And I got out of there. But that was my story. That, was in, that happened to me in West Palm. But that same guy has traveled all over Florida doing that to multiple girls. And I've heard it working at other clubs of girls just mentioning, oh yeah, you know that guy, he did this to me. Like, you're literally on predator alert. And going back to the bystander effect, so while he's doing these things, he has his full group of friends with him, okay? These same group of friends was at this 
girl, the girlfriend of this guy, they were all at her baby shower smiling at her. The same guys that are out here in the streets trying to set up women, helping your dude cheat on you because he's so in love with you. I don't even think this cheating. All right, he's a predator. He's predatoring. He's doing his job. I think he preyed on her. Anyways, my heart is heavy though because multiple girls have come to me like, yo, somebody should tell her. I, and I thought, because she just, what's even crazier? This girl had his baby. This girl really had this predator's baby, like a scum in the streets. And you gave him a little girl and he's out preying on girls. When, and then what's crazier? I thought, oh, maybe because his girlfriend had a baby, maybe he changed. I just always assumed the best of people. Let's get into this possum. Mm. It's so creamy. Anyways, so I assumed, like, I didn't even think about, I hadn't, I didn't even think about this guy. I was like, oh yeah, I'm assuming because you're posting on Instagram like you love her. The girl just had your baby. I'm assuming you're a family man. Like, that's what you're focused on. That's your, no. You guys, last Friday, I ran into one of my old friends. She was like, guess who tried to set me up last Friday? Like, this girl just had a baby for you. This girl is doing all this, loves you so much, and you're still out in the streets being a predator? That's crazy. You're really out here trying to set women up, and you think because they're sex workers or strippers that it won't get out to the public, but in every single club in South Florida, you're on predator alert. Every girl knows about you. When you walk in the building, we all know what you're on, and we're all warned about you. But your girl is on social media, so in love, like she got the quality man. But men know how to... Get, like they know who to pick and they know how to pull them because his whole thing is he spoils her he takes care of her he spoils all the girls like he be in the club tricking that's not special if your man is spending money on lots of girls it's not special if your man can't keep his penis to himself it's not special you're not special that man doesn't act as soon as he leaves the house he doesn't act like he's in a relationship he leaves the house Theming, like he needs something new and i've literally in my phone catalog i have three recent videos i've made about this every time a girl has mentioned him i've made a new video about it there's timestamps on the videos of every time a girl reported that he done did something i done made a new video and i'm going to release all of it in one long documentary about this one man because it is the story about why just because somebody's rich or has money why you don't fall for that that's you got to learn how to get the money and go sometimes it's just a boyfriend you get the money and go. Girls be taking off. They think everything's just so serious. And this is why you get your own money before you settle down. Because when you have your own bag, you see men differently. Because can't no man get me. No ma'am, no ham, no turkey. When you could buy anything you want, that stuff is not impressive. It's what I expect. But it's sad. Because recently, after the last time a girl reached out to me about this guy, I was like, well, has anyone told the girl? So I reached out to her social media. I found her, the girlfriend of this predator. And she went private as soon as she got pregnant. I feel like that's already a red flag. Because if you can't show your life happily, because I know what was happening. Bitches were coming up to you as a woman. They were trying to, some girls just swear everybody's hating, but we're trying to warn you. That man is disgusting. Like we're trying to warn you. Anyway, so for like a month now, I've been trying, trying to reach out, but she on her, like some bitches be so in their head. They just swear they're, you're not like, <laughs> it's like y'all be thinking life is so much of something it's not. But I guess that's how we also know what you grew up with. Cause you be hyped off of nothing. But anyway, so today she finally gave me access to her social media, the girlfriend of the predator. I'm looking at her page and this is where my heart sank. She's drop dead gorgeous. Like, like this girl is literally smart. And then what's crazier, she's college educated. How are you college educated and you fell for a street 
dude. <laughs> like, there's no way you went to college and you could have got any of those college educated guys and you left college, graduated college, and you're with an uneducated street dude. That don't even make sense. You had the pool of the best of the best and you chose the bottom of the barrel to entertain. But I know what it is. Girls get so distracted with illegal money. They love a scammer, drug dealer, dope boy. But smart women, if you pay attention to hood girls, they know the girls that grow up with them dudes, they don't take them seriously. You date them and you keep it going. And so, anyways, I'm looking at her page. And she's literally so pretty. And it's also sad because she's like so in love with this dude it's like like if you knew how he represented you when he leaves the house if you heard the way he talks to women the way he fiends as if he has nothing if you saw the way he was spending money on other girls like it's just crazy like men are embarrassing and it just the whole situation has put me into perspective of how blessed i truly am because I would have caught a felony. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I would be in jail right now. If I was her, if I was in her position and I found out about, and I knew the things that he was doing in the street and just knew how he was acting and preying on women and you just had a daughter for him, nah, I would take him out. <laughs> I'm telling y'all straight up, like I already know. And that's y'all, when we get deep into my story, cause if y'all don't know, I don't know the proper phrase of saying it, but I did. I was pregnant for a hot minute, but we ended that because I was like, not me. I already, see my, my brain is always working. And I was like, nah, he's questionable. Then I found out the truth afterwards. But this girl is like, what would have happened had I stayed? And it just shows that they don't change. They just, find the girl that'll let them do what they want so yeah um i'm stuck between a rock and a hard place because it's like is anybody gonna tell her because i'm making a youtube video completely just putting all of this with receipts and everything the whole everything like top top south florida's top predators he's number one and he's gonna get his video on my blossom tv channel make sure you guys are following but um, it's just like, do I tell her or do I just let her live in delusion land? The difference is though, with me, when I was dealing with my dude, girls kept telling me, like everywhere I went, a girl would come up to me like, hey, you know, I don't think you should deal with him. Uh, and I, unlike other people, I listened. I was like, you know what? Oh, okay, because why would a random person tell me that? A random person wouldn't come up to you and warn you about somebody if it wasn't valid, you know? And so, but the energy that I get from this girl is she's so focused on, well, he has, like, there's girls that are just so impressed that the guy has money or that he'll spend it on her. And it's like, that's why the first thing in life you should do is make sure you got your own big bag. <laughs> Cause I promise you it'll change your perspective. Cause I would never take a street dude seriously. Like that's for fun. You don't think that that's your life goal. That's your, that's about to build. That's about to, let them guys got a time limit before they go to jail. Like be for real. <laughs> Especially if you didn't get that money legally, America's gonna get their money back. Be for real. But um, anyways, I just have this feeling in my heart because I remember what heartbreak feels like when you find out the truth. And it's like, do I tell her the truth or do I just let her find out when the world finds out and I drop the video? And it's like, I just feel bad because it's not in a way of making her feel bad but it's in the way of I want to warn other females because her situation could have been avoided and I feel like had she known the truth about who she's dealing with she wouldn't have gotten so far deep as she is right now and that's that's what happened to me when, when the truth came out I was out of there I was like oh this is not what I would ever do I was, I was like I was I was gooking I'm like no but it's just I just think the scariest thing in the world is imagine you fall in love with somebody and you're falling in love with the fake person they put on for you because that's not who they are. And if y'all wanted to know just how bad the bystander effect gets, I just want y'all to know. This, this guy that I told you set me up, he set me up in his house, tried to drug me and train, do a train. 
the same guys that were with him are the same guys that are always with him when he's cheating. Like when he goes to a club, those are the guys that are like, oh, talk to her. Like they're the friends gassing him up to cheat. Those same guys were in that girl's baby shower photos, smiling right next to her. There's like this one photo they posted. She's in the center. All of them are next to her. They're all the guys that are with him when he's cheating. Like when I say embarrassing, cause I would have took them all out. <laughs> Everybody wouldn't have to be clean off this earth. Like, they get the right one. I think men get the right one. You gotta get the right type of weak person because me, <laughs> I would have set it off. And I already did. Trust me, my lick back had no expiration. If all y'all were wondering like how I healed through that, I got my lick back. I, I believe in revenge because you know, people don't learn until you teach them not to fuck F you over. Anyway, it feels good to get that off my chest, though. Because I was like, oh, this is a bad feeling. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Now that that's there, we can enjoy this food. Mm, I love this sweet sauce. Mm. Mm. Can you see? Mm, 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 mm. It's just so deliciously soft. It's just crazy though. That, like this world is just so sad. Like you literally could give your all to a human. And sometimes guys are with girls just for how they look, just how they make them look. He doesn't respect you. He leaves the house, he doesn't represent you. He gets on, what's even crazier, he will literally, literally be out cheating on this girl and then he will post love you babe love my girl never cheats like and i knew this this situation was too far gone when right after she dropped the baby he went on a boys trip out in columbia with all these girls sleeping with girls every day just entertaining girls that's when i knew they got the right one because i'm like how did he convince her of that how did that that's how i know they get the right one because money will make some of y'all just distracted from basic bear respect you should get from a man you know but some girls they see money and they're like oh, they're just gonna they're just happy to be there right no life is better than that that's how busy it'd be though and he's always bragging about how she doesn't do anything she needs to cheat she needs to get a boyfriend she needs to play him on him there's no reason to be loyal to somebody that's a dog like situation's crazy but what makes the situation crazier is I'm telling y'all this, but I need y'all to understand, I've been in clubs. I've been in different locations from West Palm Beach, Fort Lauderdale, Miami. I've been in locker rooms where girls were discussing, were discussing how disgusting of a person he is. Tell, tell him about things that he was doing. In different locations, meaning he thought going to different locations would mean nobody would put it together. But it's the fact that if this girl, his girlfriend, ever walked into a single strip club, any strip club in Florida, a girl's gonna tell you about your man. Like, they're gonna tell you. Because he's the worst type. He preys on them. He tries to get girls. He likes to, I'm gonna book you. Well, I'm gonna see you. He tries to get you to come over. He tries to get you extremely, extremely messed up and take advantage of you. Who does that? And you just had, you have two daughters and you're still doing that? That's crazy. Some of y'all, that's what I'm saying. They're, they're, people do what they get, keep getting away with, but me, everybody getting put on blast. And I'm coming with receipts. I'm coming with every receipt. And ironically, ironically, he posted something like, hmm, I'm not the type to have screenshots. I am. I have every screenshot. I keep screenshots for years. Because you're never going to say it didn't happen. It did. And I just want y'all to know if y'all just wonder just like how far he's taking it. The day before the gender reveal was trying to yes, link with me. Hours before it. What what else happened? Um, the day before he first popped out with her. It was like a New Year's Day. He was with me that night before. That was the night he tried to set me up. The day after her, the, the same night of her baby shower. He was trying to lead up, link up with girls right after the baby shower. Like, well, not tell y'all. And these, if this girl really thinks like this is the love of her life. Like, he does not respect you in any way, shape, or form. Like, he does not even take your life seriously. He sees you as a pretty girl that's supposed to exist and exist as his girl, his property. That's all he sees. 
your actual life does not have a value in his head. Because if it did, the bare minimum he could do is have respect when he leaves the house. It's crazy. Mm, I have the coconut crunch. Excuse me. Oh. But yeah, I woke up craving this. I was craving the um, burger steak and mashed potatoes. Mm. But I was also craving the burger. I was gonna go to Shake Shack, but Jollibee is up the street, like five minutes away from me. So I was like, why would I not come here? Shake Shack is like, the closest Shake Shack is like 30 minutes away. That's too much. Plus traffic is at least an hour now. When you're hungry, you're ready to eat. Mm. Anyways, I'm super excited because throughout my whole life, people have just been doing crazy stuff. And for some reason, nobody ever has taken me seriously. They're just like, they will do stuff. I mean, like, oh, she's not gonna tell. And it's just funny because y'all are the people that's about to give me a full platform because everybody's getting exposed. Anybody who's ever done anything to me, I'm telling your story. I'm telling your story. I'm giving you a full video to tell your story because you thought that it was just so funny. It was just something that was so okay to do. So let's share it with the world and see the world's opinion. We're gonna see, we're gonna see. Cause there's no way, literally last Friday, when your dude was at the club, the office, he was in there trying to get other girls while texting girls about the after play. What also gives me is where is the control you have over this man? If you're just so much of his girl, why do you have no control over your, your dude? Because he just does whatever he wants. But that's why you can't be in a relationship where you ain't got nothing. Because when the guy is the one with the bag, he's just going to do what he wants. Mm -mm, that's not happening here. <laughs> Baby, you date me, you got to respect me. You got to act right. Because I promise y'all, I promise y'all, I know myself. Self-awareness, I'll take you out. I would never. Let me tell y'all something. My ex asked him what I did to him. We had one day. He sat. We sat. We were leaving the garage. And he said, are you about to take me out? Because he knew. I'm... He knew. <laughs> I'm about it. And I thought, and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to give up my life for this man. It took a lot of strength in me. Like, I was like, you know what? It's not worth it. But I'm telling y'all, I know what's in me. And if I was her, oh man, there's no way that man would still be alive. <laughs> there's just no way. If only y'all knew just how far he takes it. And you're online like talking about that. That man would never even post you. He know he can't. He has a page full of the girls that he's effing. His Instagram is full of them. He meets them, follows them, liking their pictures. Like I'm trying to understand what about him is worth posting. She got so many posts about I love you. Oh my gosh, that's embarrassing. Like I, I've been, I'm not exaggerating. I've been in the club where they were laughing. Their, their girls are laughing because they're like, why would she even have his baby? That's everyone's question. We all want to know. He's literally like bottom of the scum. What did you, do? The, the money really made you see him as a valuable man? And being baby mama number two at 23, 24 is crazy. Like. Being under 25 and baby mama number two, it's just like, how could a man get you that good? Like, it's just no way. You had, there was so much more going to your life. There's a billion people on this earth and you thought that used up man was for you. At your young, youthful, lots of, to go for you age. It's just a sad situation. And I really just feel like it all goes to show that everybody doesn't have somebody putting them on. Because I remember, at least when I went to college, before I dropped out, one thing my dad and stepdad both told me, they said, don't mess with the hood dudes. They go after the college girls. I witnessed that, you guys. They do. And it's because I don't know why, but girls be educated and still stupid. Man. They don't have the street smarts that the street girls have. Because street girls know when... Mm. But the fact that he got her to have a baby and he's still out here, that was crazy. Imagine having a daughter and knowing that the guy that you gave that daughter to is out preying on women. An actual predator. That's crazy. It makes sense though, spaghetti. It's crazy. It's just crazy. It couldn't be me. It could not be me. I'm just so thankful 
so truly thankful today that I got out of my situation. Because I'm telling you, I would be in jail. I would be. Because that's some, a type of disrespect I would never go for. Mm. Burger steak. Mashed potatoes. Anyways. I just want y'all to know. The only reason I show up to work on YouTube every single day is because I've had so many people act like my voice didn't matter. So I'm going to take the time to run up a full audience. As big as I can get it. Then I'm going to put everybody on blast. All the people who thought it did not matter how they treated me. All the people who thought it would never get out. Your secret would never get out. Everybody's secret is going out. But I'm going to wait till I have a big audience. Because everybody thought everything was funny. Like, I don't think y'all understand. I wake up ready to make content now. Like, I'm hungry. I'm hungry for all the people that had me messed up in this life. Like, if only y'all knew. If only y'all knew. <laughs> Mm, so much I can't wait to tell y'all. And then what's even crazier, as I have all these feelings and like emotions, I realize it has to be done though. I've had so many girls that are like, oh my gosh, I wish somebody would expose me. I wish somebody would talk about this. I wish, I wish, I wish. We live in a world where people will see something going wrong. People will know something's wrong. Nobody's going to speak up. Nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody wants to be that guy. And it's okay. I'm okay with being hated. And I'm okay with being that guy. I've definitely... I'm not leaving this earth until I tell my story. And all the people who ever had me messed up, their story gets told too. Because they all thought it was done in the dark. And what's done in the dark is coming to light. Amen. Amen. <sighs> I'm done renting. I feel better. This is so freaking. This is like a comfort food. Like, this is my favorite here. This. I like this. I like the texture of the spaghetti noodles more, though, because they're so thick. This, I feel like you eat it one by one. Mm. 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 But yeah, you guys. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not fond of this size, but the chicken is. It's also really insane to me that a person could be a criminal and still like wilding out in the streets, like. If y'all ever seen the show, I could have got away with it. It's always somebody you made mad. That's why you don't get away with nothing no more. <laughs> like, watch that show. It always be the smallest reasons why people get caught. I just feel like if I knew, if I knew I robbed the bank. I knew I got away with millions. It's no way I would just be out in the street like, ah, let me be, let me, let me, uh, let me fuck up. Let me do all this stuff to these people. You really don't think. Chicken, you really don't think. You really out. don't think. You about to get caught. And yes, you guys. Yes. I found out my ex was a bank robber, dude. Craziest story. Can't wait to tell y'all. Oh, shout out to my patrons for sponsoring this delicious meal anyways. Y'all the only real ones in this world. I, 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 I F with y'all. Mm. Man, this life has been a crazy freaking journey. Man. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's starting to get packed in here. Let me eat faster. What time is it? Four o'clock. Where are all these people coming from? That's a lot of people. <laughs> Thank you.
for being here shout out to you guys who support my channel make sure you subscribe for more content mm. i'm super freaking full i hope my belly does not bust i'm stuck to the seat <laughs> i hope it doesn't bust out but um yeah you guys thanks for joining me i'll see you guys next time peace out